Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back into Albatross Barbecue. Yep, so today we're doing something that's been on my list for quite some time. Lemon honey pork ribs. Really looking forward to this one. Stay tuned. I love smoking pork ribs. It's got to be one of my favourites. This rack here, it's not too bad. I wish there was a little bit more fat on there. But in general, for a cheap rack of ribs, this isn't too bad at all. Most of you watching this video will know that you need to pull off that membrane on the back. And the best thing to do is to just get your butter knife and just put it right underneath there. I kind of stuffed up the first one. Try and get it all the way along if you can. And then if you get it right, you should rip off pretty easily. You don't want to eat that. It can be a little bit leathery and a bit chewy. So the best thing is to get it off and then just trim your ribs up. A binder for your rub, your choice. I like to use mustard. If you want to use something else or nothing at all, that's entirely up to you. So lemon and honey. First thing I'm going to be hitting this with is some granulated honey. I'm just going to give it a good coat on both sides to really try and get that sweetness throughout the rib. Next thing I'm going to hit it with is a lemon pepper based rub. This also has some standard pepper, some salt, some garlic as well. Easy to make. You can certainly go and buy the lemon pepper from any local supermarket. Nice and easy, just give it a good coat so you get that good lemon flavour as well. And then once you're done, wrap it up. If you're ready to cook it straight away, just let it rest for 10 minutes or so. But for me, I'm going to let this rest for a little bit. Okie dokie, so those ribs, they've been sitting in the fridge now for around two hours. I've turned the pellet smoker on. Got some competition blend pellets in here today. I've set the temperature to 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius. We're gonna keep it at that temperature for the whole cook. It's probably gonna take somewhere around five and a half to six hours. The ribs have certainly been sweating a bit in the fridge. So the best thing to do now is get her on and let her smoke. I'm gonna leave these ribs for around three hours to get as much smoke flavor as possible. After an hour, it's starting to get a little bit more color. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a spray with some apple cider vinegar and water every 45 minutes to an hour. Try not to open the smoker too much during this time. Then after three hours, she'll look a little bit like this. Some lovely smoke color through those ribs. I'm keeping my wrap nice and simple. A layer of brown sugar. And then I'm gonna add some butter and some honey. I really wanna get some sweetness and some flavor into these ribs now, as well as making them nice and moist. I have placed my ribs bone side down here. Most people do meat side down, but because I'm gonna be putting a little bit more honey, brown sugar, butter, and then I'm also going to add some lemon juice. I've decided to do it this way and halfway through the wrapping, I'll just flick it over. And then before the final wrap, just one last coating of that lemon pepper based rub. should take approximately another two hours to get these ribs nice and tender. Now I don't really prod for the temperature here. I mean, certainly you want to get it to around that 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm more prodding just for how tender it is, making sure it's not falling off the bone, but it's still going to be a nice bite when I bite into it. If the meat's starting to pull back on the bone, it's a great sign. What I'm doing here is I'm pulling it over, I'm gonna get my barbecue sauce, and I'm gonna give it a good coating. And then I'll leave it in here for another half an hour or so, just to let that barbecue sauce thicken up, and then it'll be good to enjoy.
All right, we've had to come inside because of the weather. There's a bit of a storm going over us, but these ribs are done. They've got a beautiful smoke ring. They smell fantastic. Let's give them a go. So this is the lemon and honey, different type of rub to what I've done in the past. It smells amazing. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. And what a beautiful bite there for that rib. I can really, really taste a lot of honey, obviously, with what we put into this, but the, the lemon, which the juice is really coming through as well. Quite delightful, give it a go. Something different to put on the ribs, really awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm gonna tuck into these and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.